Hello guys and welcome to episode 5 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough playing as the Dreadfleet on very hard difficulty. Today we are going to be waiting for the rotting Prometheans to be built and then we will be heading towards Lothan uh, to teach them a lesson after they declared war on us. So off we go to the next turn. We're also maxing out our fleet, so that's great. And I think it's given us a, an ability that we can use in battle from now on. We'll have to find out. Ooh, that might be worth killing. Who are they? That is the Freebooters of Port Royal. Okay, if we go to the pieces of eight. Uh, they would give us the Regiment of Renown, the Black Spot, Zombie Pirate Gunnery Mob with handguns. Yeah, let's go kill them. Maybe not right now, since I want to build the Rotting Prometheans. Wow, I actually don't have enough cash. That's all good. The nation calls. Tell you what, I will not do that. <laughs> Let's uh, cancel that recruitment. I'm going to raise the dead. We'll grab a bloated corpse, They're pretty cheap, and we'll grab some deck hand mobs. And then what we'll do is go and attack this dude. level up. Tenacity is pretty nice. 8% hit points just off the bat. <laughs> that would be pretty damn good. This requires rank 12. He's currently rank N. Let's get that tenacity. I think it's worth having. Hopefully we're in range to kill off this army next turn. So that's cool. I like that it's uh, sort of given us something to do. Um, then when we have the cash from beating that army we can move back and buy the rotting Prometheans with that because I don't I want to have enough to recruit them all at the same time so I don't have to waste like three turns in the settlement rather than just two. Like every turn counts. Ah oh, they're moving away. They'd be a pain in the ass. Ooh, Rich Wake got extra campaign map movement range. Brilliant. And we actually have reduced campaign map movement range due to the consolidating power. Which sucks, but... We'll move this way. Try and keep up with them. Actually, since we have the population surplus here, I may as well be building one of these buildings. I think we're going to go for the basic wooden hull. That way I can upgrade it to the composite hull eventually and get the Necrofex Colossus. Having a bunch of those is just going to be so damn cool. I cannot wait. Can we even afford that though at the moment? Like I wonder how much they cost in upkeep. Like we get minus 20% I think upkeep with Noctilus. I'll have to hover over his army and see how much it costs. Oh, they declared war on us and attacked us. <laughs> That's fine. Um, I think they may be programmed to if you get too close. That's awesome. That's really helpful. Now they do have uh, a couple of mortars and the great cannon. So this isn't going to be like super easy in a sense that they are going to do a ton of damage to us, but we're going to be going back anyway and replenishing. So it doesn't really matter. Let's fight this on the bottom up.
I would say so far, I'm really enjoying this campaign because there's a real sense of like freedom to just do what you want. And I like that a lot. It's very refreshing. Whereas in a lot of campaigns, especially my Mortal Empires campaign with the Von Karstens at the moment, I'm kind of stuck in this position where I have to defend all my borders. So I can't really go anywhere else. I have to stay around my own lands. Whereas here, I'm just going where the hell I want. Right, I am actually going to move back, I think, because uh, we can take advantage of this water quite well. Um, let's actually like line my gunnery mob up on here. And then line up these guys below. With the bombers behind. And we'll have the Necrofax there. This guy needs to be up on the hill with these guys. And I think I'm just going to have him hidden off to one side. Let's start the deployment, start the battle. Speed it up. I'm hoping that I can just shoot over the top of all these guys all the time. Oh, I should have made my mortar back. Oops. Oh well. I can just get them up onto the hill. <laughs> and they might try and force us to come to them with all the artillery actually. Didn't think about that. Bollocks. Well, time to move, I guess. And we're going to be forced to, like, go straight towards... Oh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Uh, let's maybe come over to the side here. Alright, we may as well speed it up. What I'm going to have to do is split up my front line at some point. So let's put these in a separate group. I'm really tempted to just get my player corpse to just run straight into the great cannon back there. <laughs> I wonder if I can manage to do that. Okay. Let's sort out these guys. Let's get my mortar firing away. Give the invocation to those two. That is fine. Blue <laughs> corpse is going for it. <laughs> I 
<laughs> this is great. Hello guys, how you doing? <laughs> how did that not kill them all? Oh it did. There's two men left. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Not that that was really doing the damage. The mortar's the one doing the damage, but <laughs> that is great. Yeah, let's move these back. Victory is in our grasp, apparently. I've barely done it. Wait, why are they? Oh, they're still being hit by the mortars, aren't they? As they die, yeah, let's just run forwards here. I'm just. Uh, <laughs> I should probably stop standing around. I mean, I'm surprised they're not, like, fully engaging me, if I'm honest. But then again... They do have the, the more artillery, so... Bombers really just go in ham there. <laughs> no fucks. Let's maybe go somewhere else. Maybe try and get into range of the crossbowmen with the bombers. <laughs> These guys are dead. They are so dead. I love the way these these battles go. It's so cool. <laughs> these guys coming out of the water to attack him. It just looks so perfect. Attack! My bombers are actually doing a lot of work here. Noctilus should really be engaging. We've nearly defeated them. Yep, yeah, that's it. Job done. I'm assuming that if we end the battle, that's the army destroyed. If not, we can always chase them down. I think we've got enough men to do so. That bloated corpse annihilating the great cannon was so good. I probably should have gone for the mortars instead, but it's well worth it. It's probably one of the most fun units that's been introduced to... Uh, the Warhammer.
I wouldn't I wouldn't say they're very good in multiplayer. Like these are probably gonna fail in multiplayer because people will focus them. But in this position like against AI, they work really well. We're gonna take the ransom. And they did survive, okay. Well we can finish them off. Got a good sea captain. Nice. Now I was just thinking, maybe I should build the tiller instead of the basic wooden hull first. How much do these cost in upkeep? 270. That's actually nothing. Or at least it's not very much. Mission successful. Defeat the freebooters of Port Royale. And the reward is Lucky Le Levi's keepsake. Pirate known as Lucky Levi met his end at the hands of his own men after dabbling in the black magic with his lucky rabbit's foot. The fool was trying to raise zombie deckhands for his crew, but his first mate was not best pleased and being, at being replaced by the walking dead, and so shivved his captain while he slept. But Levi's undead mob continued to serve their master, throwing the first mate and the rest of the living crew overboard and scuppered Levi's ship. Okay, cool. So we did actually get the gunnery mob regiment of renown. There it is. So what's so good about them? They have anti-large, is that it? Yeah, they've got anti-large. <laughs> nice. Right, we probably want to destroy this army or regardless because it's just going to sit there taunting us otherwise. Let's zoom on in. And since they're all ranged forces, we'll just engage them with a line of hang gunners. Let's go. When Necrofex Colossus is uh, almost rank 7. Getting into the gold chevrons. Love it. Like crazy good at high rank. Okay. Yeah, like I mentioned, I'm just going to send them a wall of gunnery mob. I may as well have my Captain and Noxtalus and so on go with them. Let's just start those in range, may as well. Okay, start the deployment, start the battle. Uh, let's aim at the swordsman. If they're coming towards me, I might actually just chill for the most part. Or just move up to this line and then stand there. Alright, I hope they're ready. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's just have Noctilus charge forwards. Like an absolute badass. I don't want... Oh, whoops. I uh, put the implication on the wrong guy. On the wrong dudes. Move this uh, gunnery mob back. I don't want to lose the ones that have the decent ranks. Our 
Move this guy over. And there goes the enemy lord. Lovely. Take that. Decisive victory. And the reason I ended it straight away instead of chasing them down is so that I can possibly get another victory and get more experience for Noctilus. But I'm kind of thinking that the fleet might just get destroyed after that battle, which is fine anyway. Then we can head back and finally recruit those extra units I was looking to get. Ransom them. They're good. And uh, we can level them up. Plan. Hmm. Do I go to go on account now? Or do I start going up here? Money jacket and so on. Let's get Monkey Jacket. I think it's worth having. Regardless. Uh, what about this guy? Let's give him the Powder Keg ability. Alright, then we'll chase them again. And I'm tempted to auto resolve, but I think it's going to kill off a couple of units. It didn't. That's good. Right, I don't need the replenishment. That's job done. Curse of the Queen's Cannon is now available. And the Riddles of Renald. Not look upon sorrowful gods. For where Isha's tears fall and swell, the secret you shall reside. Isn't that like down here? Isha's tear is like here, I think. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, well, roughly the same place. <laughs> Maybe not quite. Anyway, Noctilus leveled up again. Now we can get Master of the Dread Fleet. And we're gonna zoom back to the Galleon's Graveyard. Yeah, if these don't cost too much to upkeep, there's no reason why I shouldn't just build the wooden hull with keel and then the composite hull and start recruiting Necrofax Colossus. Like, that'll be really, really good. I can also get Queen Bess, so we're gonna do that, of course. Awesome. Uh, let's go to the Regiments of Renown. He's free, oh, nice. So we're going to have two regiments of renown in Count Noctilus's army. His army is going to be pretty strong soon. We will be able to take pretty much any settlement. That's great. I wonder how accurate Green Bess is. Because if she is pretty accurate, then she'll be really good at destroying, like, clumps of infantry in combat. I guess we'll find out. Let's move into here. And uh, I don't need to be in the Galleon's Graveyard to recruit, so I'm just going to go into the flagship expansion. 
We're going to get rid of these guys. I don't need them. I would merge them, but I think that would damage the recruit rank or the unit rank. Okay. The first thing's first. Queen Bess and the gunnery mob. I think I'm going to get rid of these guys. And then we're going to recruit. The ocean empowers me. Oh. I thought I'd be able to recruit the units from the galleon's graveyard, but apparently not. Oh well. We'll just move into their next turn then. Cool. Uh, one turn until that Admiral's Astrolabes has finished anyway. Let's end the turn. Got the bring out the big guns achievement. Recruiting good old Bess. Nothing will now stand in our way. Right, after we come out of Galleon's graveyard, we'll head north. Pirate Haven. A rival band of pirates have requested access to some of our coves and are willing to pay for it. Should we allow them to shelter in our territory or kill them and liberate the loot they are currently carrying? Well, we don't have any smugglers' coves, so we may as well take the cash. Mission failed, that's fine. Let's move into the Galleon's graveyard, and I will recruit myself the. Rotting Prometheans. How much better are these? I mean, the, the Zombie Pirate Deckhand mob actually have quite a lot of health. Compared to these Rotting Prometheans. But the Rotting Prometheans, of course, have way more armor and defense. So I think that's going to make them better overall. Because my idea here is to have the rotting Prometheans be my front line, where my gunnery rob can, mob can kind of fire in between. Like, I'm very tempted to, like, get rid of one more gunnery mob so that I can have another unit of Pr Prometheans. Yeah, let's do it. Burn the coastlines. So, three units of those. And I think what I'm going to do here is probably upgrade the wooden hull with keel. And then when we have the cash to do so, the 10,000, I will be able to recruit the Necrofex. Colossus, which is great. Now we've encountered this Great faction, Dastan Coldite Shadow Dart. His army is pretty legit, if I'm completely honest, so I don't really want to be attacking him. I'm assuming he unlocks another regiment of renown. I don't want to get the Notorious Admiral yet. That is not ideal. these deck gunners? No, they're just gunnery mob. Just uh, trying to see if I can reduce the upkeep. The marines upkeep would be the one. Let's go for the enduring reanimation though. Reduces the recruitment time 
for the Necrofex Colossus in particular, which allow me will, will allow me, I think, to recruit the Necrofex Colossus in one turn or maybe even two turns. But the good thing about reducing the recruitment time is when I recruit another army, um, I can just build it very fast and uh, have it sail off into the distance. This garrison's pretty damn scary, actually. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. We've got two turns, I think, sitting in the Galleon's graveyard, so I'm not going to hang about. And then we will just zoom up north to get that treasure. Assuming that this other army doesn't do that. Yeah, we're almost done. I think we just move straight on. Nothing to do. Maybe we can go into diplomacy. Ah, let's just move on. I am tempted to take a stab at that army. But I'm not sure I'd win. Mainly because of the artillery, I think, more than anything. Those uh, bolt throwers that they have are really annoying. Salvage supplies. Our cargo hold has sprung a leak. Some of the booty has already been damaged and our weapons and armor are now at risk too. There is only so much space above deck. However, so which... However, so which supplies should we try and save whilst the ship is being repaired? Wow. Really? <laughs> I guess we'll just take away the armor. Ready the lever. And we're ready to go. So we're going to head up, I think, this way. Towards that fell cargo. That might leave us at war with these guys but with our army I think we might be okay hard to tell but defeating this army would give us a lot of money they have doomfire warlocks and yeah, this cavalry is pretty scary Eesh. I don't know <laughs> don't know about that might be a bit too far at the moment we'll have to wait and see because unfortunately guys it has been my time and I am going to leave it here but yeah as I mentioned going to go and grab these treasures on the way to Lothurn we will destroy Val's anvil uh, Kalador's repose again I head towards Lothurn um, and maybe set up the pirate cove there and um, then we'll just yeah look to take more and more settlements away from Lothurn maybe crush them early on because they are the high elf faction that can confederate other high elf factions so if we can remove them that would be really nice or well, they're the ones that are most likely to confederate anyway that's all for now hopefully you guys have enjoyed it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next episode goodbye